It's the final game in the Europa League. What is happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So we're moving on to the last game in the Europa League. We know we've topped the group, we've qualified for the last 32. So now it's a matter of basically just seeing out this particular game, obviously not suffering a defeat. Uh, we will be playing uh, Borisov and um, obviously the last time we did play them, we obviously went away to play them. But on this occasion, they will be coming back home to the Emirates and uh, fingers crossed we will be able to secure the three points uh, that we do need to bounce back from the defeat against Man United over the weekend. So in terms of the uh, the expected starting 11, this will just be a quick preview for this game coming up. So my expected starting 11 will involve uh, David Ospina at the back. In terms of the back three, I'm assuming that Wenger will switch it up. We'll have Debushi, Callum Chambers, as well as Rob Holding back there. And most likely we will see Reese Nelson playing as the right wing back. We will also have Maitland Niles, I assume, who will also be playing as the left wing back. He has played in that position throughout the whole competition. And personally, I have been impressed with the young kid. So hopefully we will see a bit more uh, in, at the turn of the year. Fingers crossed uh, we won't have any significant injuries, which may call him into coming into action uh, sooner rather than later. So uh, moving on within the middle of the park, I will be expecting to see maybe Neni tomorrow and uh, Quokkalin. So I'm guessing Wenger may certainly switch it up in that sense, or hopefully we can see Willock come in as well. He did look impressive uh, the number of times I have seen him in the competition. So fingers crossed Wenger will certainly be brave enough to start him. In terms of the three up top, I'm guessing we're going to see Theo Walcott because the last time he obviously played Borisov, Walcott certainly scored two goals. If you do remember, the final score was 4-2. Oli Giroud got himself a penalty and uh, I think Rob Holding got the other goal. And uh, up top, we're going to see obviously Oli Giroud as well as Danny Welbeck, I assume, up top. So... <laughs> This game, as I said, is just a matter of obviously closing off the group. It's not that significant. It's not an important game. However, I'd like to discuss briefly, as I said, this is a very, very short preview. I'd like to discuss the state of Reese Nelson. So obviously, before the season started off, we were extremely excited. I personally was extremely excited about Reese Nelson and the potential that he definitely holds. But um, we've seen Wenger get up to his old tricks, which is playing him out of position. This has happened with a number of players. We've seen El Nenny play at centre back. We've also seen Quokkalin play at centre back, and, and other previous examples that I can't certainly think of now. But Wenger is renowned for playing players out of position, and Reese Nelson has found himself playing further back in the on the pitch, and uh, that's in a right wing back position. Of course, within that position itself, you do have the freedom to go forward as well as obviously coming back to help out your teammates in defence, uh, as well as the fact that a right wing back essentially is also classed as a midfielder. But uh, for a player who's obviously still developing and we do know his strongest position is obviously playing up top, either on the left hand side or on the, on the right hand side, um, I don't think it's actually conducive and productive in the sense that he should not be played out of position. I'd prefer to see Reese Nelson further up top as part of the starting three up top. So in terms of the attacking three, if we are going to be sticking with the three at the back formation, I'd prefer to see Reese Nelson up top personally. But Wenger seems to obviously have other ideas for him. He obviously wants to give other senior players game time in that particular position. Obviously, we do know that there's a number of players who can play up top, um, as well as the fact that we do need to shift on some of these players. In particular, there is a lot of talk within recent days. I will be making a video about this, about Theo Walcott being moved on in January and Everton have actually merged as potential suitors for Theo Walcott. So we'll see how that pans out. Hopefully, if we can free up some room in terms of getting rid of some surplus players, I'd like to call them, then we may potentially see the likes of Reese Nelson playing in their rightful positions. So as usual, guys, please do let me know what your score predictions will be. My personal score prediction on this one, I reckon we will be scoring at least three goals tomorrow night. So I'll call it a 3-1 game. And um, as usual, as I said, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you are watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. Once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV and I'm out.